but y'all have yet to see. And I'm gonna come out this fight, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dominate this fight way different than I did the last fight. Creo que eh, eso es algo que se lo voy a mostrar el 14. Ahora la pelea, eh, no voy a decir nada ahora. Él sabe, hacer, él va a hacer su trabajo, yo voy a hacer el mío. Y, y nada, como digo siempre, no voy a dejar todo en cada, en cada round y en cada, en cada pelea que me pongan enfrente. Hoy lo tengo a él y bueno, es el escalón a, a, a subir ¿no? para, para mi carrera. I'm not about to unveil my secrets right now. You're going to have to see on Saturday night. Having said that, I prepare myself very seriously for each and every opponent that I have in front of me. This time, it's going to be Charlo. And I promise you, I'm going to be more than ready to give fans a show on Saturday night. Brian Castano is the same fighter that, you know, he performed every fight. Uh, he, he, he don't show too much difference. He going to come. He came back up. It's a lot of little things that I learned. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going I'm to I'm put that... Uh, all of it on play Saturday night. And I'm gonna use my intelligence, my ring smart and generalship. I'm gonna uh, take advantage of some of the things that he don't have, that I do have. God bless me with natural gifted talent because I'm a black African man from the USA. And so it's something that he don't got. And I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna dominate. I'm gonna dog him out. And I'm gonna hit harder than I ever hit before. I'm gonna be much faster than I ever was. I'm gonna be sharper. It's just, uh, this was one of the best camps. Thank you, Brian Costano, for giving me a, the extra time. To, to prepare myself. Creo que aprendí a no ir a pelear de vuelta a la casa de él. Que eso es, que es, lo, que, que es lo que realmente condicionó la primera pelea, ¿no? no ir a la casa de él. De eso aprendí. Eh, si, si, esta sigue siendo su casa, yo sigo siendo visitante, pero eh, estoy más tranquilo de pelear, entre comillas, en un lugar más neutro. ¿no? I learned that it's really important to not fight in his hometown because that was definitely a factor in the first fight. I think that tilted things a little bit. And I still feel like I'm the, I'm the road guy here, like I, I'm the visitor still, but it has more of a quote-unquote neutral feel to it than Houston and than San Antonio did. So, you know, I, I learned that the lesson is to always be with my guard up and be ready for whatever comes my way as the visitor because you never know what may happen. What would it mean to you to be the undisputed champion and getting the opportunity now to be fighting here in Southern California in what should be a venue that will have a whole lot of Latino fans? Sí, sí, es muy, muy especial para mí, para mi familia, para mi equipo. Creo que regalarle eh, una gran pelea a todos los latinos y, y más con la victoria creo que es algo que que venimos trabajando hace muchos años y nada, eh, estamos esperando que llegue la fecha, estoy ansioso con ganas de, de dejar todo nuevamente y, y salir victorioso, ¿no? Estas son las peleas que a mí me gustan. Absolutely, it is going to be special uh, to show what I'm capable of in front of so many Latin fight, uh, of so many Latin fans and this is the combination of years of work. So I'm anxious, I'm more than ready, I'm itching to get out there and show everybody that I can be the undisputed champion and to give the Latin fans out there the show that they deserve. Mel, you would think from the crowd he may have an advantage this time around because there will be so many Latinos. USA! 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 Y'all think we here. We humble, yeah. You America, we humble with y'all. We listen to y'all little childish shit. Yeah, USA! 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 We we got it. We got a turf war up for this shit. <laughs> we'll do our own drums and shit. We'll be on drums with the hands in. Okay, okay. <laughs> you started a party up for this joint, man. So this you like this, don't you? Like yeah, I do. You do. I do. I do. I do. Yeah. I love that shit. They, they, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. okay. We ain't got no fucking sex. We love that. All right, good. Good, good. Thank you, thank you.
We'll, we'll get to y'all. We get. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mel. Mel. Y'all, y'all don't box for Brian Costano. I'm a first. You know what I'm saying? Just be grateful for my, my opportunities, you know, and God placed me in a position for me and my brother to shine. And this is a, this is a Lions only thing. This is my time. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be focused on it. He a target and I'm going to pop him. So that's, that's, that's simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to waste too much time trying to just try to make him, make it seem like this. Nah, I know what I possess in the ring. I know who I am and I know what I come for. Thank God my birthday coming up. We finna have a good year, a good time, and we finna enjoy this. I'm, I bust my ass. I worked very, very hard since last July. And I know I know for a fact that uh, with the dedication that me and Derek James put in, the rest of the team, Juan Guzman. Are you knocking him out this time around? That's what the fuck I do. I'm knocking him. That's what I do. That's what I'm known for. I'm known for the power. I'm known for the knockout. I'm known for the speed. He know it. He know it. I guess my question is, are you stopping him come Saturday? Primero que nada, quiero agradecer a Estados Unidos también, o sea, Argentina, Estados Unidos, eh, no, no es un tema de países, quién, quién ni quién. El, el deporte une, y esto es una unión de, de, para mí pacífica, creo que quiero agradecer a Estados Unidos, quiero agradecer a Estados Unidos por, por, por darme la oportunidad de, de, de trabajar acá, de pelear, no es algo de Argentina, Estados Unidos, quiero aclarar eso, que estoy muy agradecido con este país. Y, y nada, obviamente, él dice que va a ser el, a volver a ser el charlo de antes, a mí no me importa, a mí me importa pelear y que haga lo que tenga que hacer y si viene a noquearme, lo espero tranquilo, a ver si va a aguantar los 12 rounds, vamos a ver. Ok, first of all, let me make something very clear, this is not a US versus Argentina thing. I'm really thankful oh, yeah, for is. the fact yeah, that, so I, I'm really thankful for the fact that this country has been, yeah, we don't want you here. I'm really I'm really thankful for the fact that this country has embraced me uh, and allows me to perform my craft here and it's, this is not an international battle between me and Charlo. This is two great fighters going up against each other. Look, he can say whatever he wants. I could care less uh, whether he wants to knock me out or what. I'm going to go out there and let's see if he can withstand my punishment for 12 rounds. Well, hey, we finna represent this USA versus Argentina. Yes, it is. Yeah, Y'all yeah, want to yeah. be loud? Y'all want, you in America, you in my shit. You in my land, baby. This is my land. So here we this go. This my time. I'm, don't I know. that shit now. Don't get scared now. I got this you. Here we time. go. We'll We'll wrap this up with this because I know there's time. This my, this there, land. there are members of the media. They're taking shit from us. Me molesta la falta de respeto que tiene hacia el deportista. La lesión puede pasar en un campamento, más en campamento de de una pelea tan grande, ¿no? Creo que él siempre, para él todos sus oponentes todo o se o toman drogas para para rendir más o o, o necesitan tiempo para ganarle a él porque él se cree que el, el Iron Man se lo cree de verdad. Creo que la verdad es algo que, que, que no sé por qué se pone nervioso, grita, si estamos hablando tranquilamente, que grite arriba del ring el, el 14 de mayo. So, what bothered me the most wasn't something specific that, that he said, but rather the sheer lack of respect that he has for a fellow athlete. Because he was saying that I was, that I was taking performance enhancers, that I needed more time. Uh, and he said a lot, a lot more things that I thought were out of line. And I don't know why he's so nervous, why, why he's getting all edgy like that. Because he's screaming and yelling. And I would rather him scream and yell inside the ring. Because right now, the fact that he's so nervous, it's puzzling to me. I'm faster. I'm, I'm stronger. Um, um, I'm that guy. Do you know what I'm saying? No, creo que eh, peleas son peleas, yo según el rival eh, rindo diferente, de diferente manera eh, y según cómo se va dando la pelea. Creo que tengo, eh, me acomodo, me adapto a cualquier oponente y esta vez lo tengo a echarlo enfrente, pero eh, creo que cada uno hace lo suyo. There is one specific weapon that I would say is better than because I adapt my style to the opponent. So this time, Charlo is going to see what I have in store for him. Not going to reveal it right now, but I'm more than ready to show that whatever I have in store is more than enough. Uh, Boots, you said that if you're able to get through this fight against undefeated Castillo Clayton, that there's no denying you for a world title shot. If you get through this particular bout, do you feel like you should have that world title shot next? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, like I said before, uh, we not like I said we not looking past you know uh, clear. Uh, we are gonna do damage on on Saturday night and get this victory and you know get, look good doing it. And uh, then we could talk about it afterwards. So right now we locked in on clear. I let me later on after I get this win. A question is for Brian. Brian, in the first fight against Charlo, you felt Charlo's power. Okay. Is that the hardest you've ever been hit? And how do you rate Jamel's punching power from, on a scale from one to ten? No, creo que hay diferentes peleadores que pegan, tienen su pegada. Lo único que me ha hecho visitar la lona fue eh, eh, Manuel de Jesús, el puertorriqueño. Pero eh, cada uno tiene su pegada. Eh, en este nivel todos pegan. No hay uno que pegue más, que pegue menos. Eh, esto es así. Creo que es un rival fuerte, de, de, de primer nivel, como, como, como el que estamos. Creo que no hay que desmerecer a ninguno y no hay que confiarse. Look, Charlo is a top tier fighter, and that's without a doubt, that, that's true. But at the same time, at this level, everyone has power. And the, the fact is that the only opponent that has sent me to the mat has been the Puerto Rican guy, Jesus. The other ones haven't been able to. So I respect him as an opponent, and I know that he's strong, but there is nothing about his power that really truly stands out to me over any other fighter that I have faced before. You had a little home cooking during your first fight, and whether you were favored because you were playing in your uh, fighting in your home state of Texas. Nah, Texas, uh, they 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 judge the fight right. I can't I can't go back and forth. That fight is over with. It's dead. Nothing happened over there that I done. That uh, you know, I, if anything, I won the fight. Y'all y'all got cooking, and so um, I'm not worried about that. We're gonna we're gonna see what California judges and referees are. Brian, the question uh, from TYC Sports in Argentina is that we were all witnesses of the way that you got robbed in that first fight. How did that robbery, in a way, help you, help motivate you in the preparation for this rematch? Esto me motiva, obviamente. La primera pelea fue realmente yo me sentí ganador, y esto me motiva, no, para una revancha, tratar de de reivindicar de nuevo eso, salir victorioso. Pero esta vez no dejarse la mano de los jueces. It absolutely motivated me because I thought I won. And the the biggest lesson I took from from that was that I can't let this fight be in the hands of the judges. I need to end it before that so that there is no shadow of a doubt that I'm the superior fighter. To watch you fight, what can you guarantee that they're going to get on Saturday? Van a haber una guerra, electrizante. Los dos vamos a brindarnos como como se viene Picanteando en esta previa, no, obviamente eh, que no se la pierdan porque va a ser un gran espectáculo. You're going to see a war, electrifying stuff. The way that we've been spicing this up, we're, gu we're guaranteeing a spectacle and you're not going to want to miss it. Mel, I'll give you the final word. What can you guarantee the people? When they turn on Showtime, they pay their good money to come out to Carson. What can you guarantee they're going to get on May 14th? Well, USA has the best military in the world. We got the best artillery and the best defensive mechanisms. So there's nothing that this Argentina will be able to do when Jamel Charlo come to drop them bombs on them. Bombs will be dropped on May 14th at Showtime Championship Boxing, everybody. Boots, you got something? You have something? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I know we got a, a banger for a main event, but I'm coming to steal the show, uh, put on a put on a beautiful show. And y'all know my slogan, I'm in and out like a robbery. There you have it. May 14th, Showtime Championship Boxing, folks. Don't miss it.